What's up, good people? It's D.L. Cows back again with another Quick Take episode four. And this time we're talking about letting go and letting go in peace, love, and light and letting your light shine regardless of how it may expose other people's flaws. So, boom, here we go. Let's get it. Win the day because the day is already won. Win the day, 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 go win the day. When I tell you my brother ate that song, I love the theme song, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me right quick, but I just love it. Um, but yeah, back to what we're actually really supposed to be talking about, and that's letting go. And just really quick, you know, sometimes our light shines so bright that it exposes, you know, people's flaws. And in turn... People will put space between you and them. People will try to cut you out of their life or do actually cut you out of their life and try to make it seem like you're the problem. But the thing is, you are not the problem. Your light is never the problem because your light helps things grow. Let's just start there and don't stop, right? Start there, don't stop. And let's just keep on going, okay? And those people that put that space between you who cut you off, just let them go. Let them go. They don't want you to water their seeds, you know, stop asking to be a part of the celebration. Stop asking when they're going to be in town. Stop asking for the kids schedule. Stop doing all of this stuff. Stop overextending yourself. You cannot make yourself be a part of someone's life that doesn't want you to be a part of theirs. Okay. Read the room, friend. Read the room. Your light shines too bright. Read the room. Okay. So let's start there. Don't stop and keep going. You know, secondly is, yes, it can be hard to let people go, but you should not want people or things around you that isn't for your best interest. And the reason why is because everything that we do for the most part as human beings is a ritual. It's a spell. The things that we speak, write, and listen to is a spell. That's why they call it spelling. It's literally a spell. You shouldn't want to exchange words with people who aren't for you because guess what? They're putting a spell against you just naturally. Not even, even if they're not even doing that on purpose, that's just what's happening. That's just how it goes. That's just what it is. So just be aware of things like that. Be aware of how you overextend yourself and try to be so much a part of someone's life who doesn't want you there. Stop inviting them. Because they don't invite you. Not to play tit for tat, but I mean, goodness gracious. When you're somebody who has a very bright light and it exposes so much and, and you're just positive all the time and this and that and they're negative and they just call you to call you to be in misery and just be miserable all the time and you just hit them with positivity, they get offended. Because now they're saying that you don't know how to listen. It's not that you don't know how to listen. It's just that you're not a miserable person. So you're going to shine some light and give them some positivity. People who aren't ready to grow aren't ready for that. A negative Nancy can't stand a positive Patty. They just don't go in the same circle. You know, so stop trying to force yourself into the negative Nancy circle when you're a positive Patty. Your light is going to attract like-minded people and people who can also shine their lights and help you grow even further. You know, I've had to let some things go. Just recently, I had to let go of an office Um, that I was working at, regardless of the clients who have had attachments to me and me attachments to them, I had to let it go because I wasn't at a place that took my growth seriously and actuality didn't take the client's growth seriously. So I have to get up, go somewhere else. It's same thing with family relationships, same thing with intimate relationships, work relationships, let it go. If it's not for your betterment of you, let it go. You don't have to be miserable with negative Nancy, be positive. Be around people who are positive. Be around people who also shine a light. You know, people gravitate to you for a reason. They want to grow. They want to be better. They want to be encouraged. Those who are offended by it will put as much space between you as possible and make it seem like you're the problem. You're not the problem. They're just not ready to grow. You know, 
Um, sometimes they're offended by your light because your light might shine just a little bit brighter than theirs. And they're used to being the main one in the room. They're used to being the favorite. And you're over here not caring about who's favorite. You're just being you. Hey, people are calculated like that. You don't worry about it. It's not you. Just make sure you let go and light and love. Don't carry around baggage and don't pick up anyone else's baggage either. Their problems aren't your problems. Your problems aren't theirs. And if you have to push pick up, pull, drag any bags of your own, that means you're not shining your light on yourself. So maybe you should shine more on yourself, feed more into yourself and not worry about why come you're not at the last birthday celebration, the last game, the the schedules, this and that. Don't worry about it. Be who you're, were, be who you were made to be. You know, don't force yourself in someone's life. Don't force people inside of your life. Let them go. Bye. Let bygones be bygones. You know? peace just give them peace peace out peace up peace in (laughs) that's it so yeah um that's really all i had to say just about letting go letting go in love don't let it drag you down don't take it to bed with you don't bring it into the new day i mean goodness gracious your light exposes flaws they don't like that they don't want to grow they don't want to weed out the bad things about themselves they just kind of want to to just lay in it kind of like pigs lay in their own feces that's you know just to give you a visual account (laughs) and of course everything that I um, talk about on here I've also been through so I'm never going to tell you to do something that I haven't done myself you know or talk about something that I haven't experienced so yeah that's it that's all I'm about to get into this Lakewood Temptress Milk Stout my favorite beer of all I'm about to prep some veggie burgers that I'm making for lunch slash dinner and yeah that's it do some reading listen to some music and just be the positive light that i am so i encourage you to do the same and um speaking of light i have a book called be the light it's on amazon be the light by dl cows and you can get that for the kids before school starts um it is about a child that is being bullied her mother encourages her to continue to be the light you can't help who you are it actually ties in quite perfectly with um you know with this episode of quick takes um so yeah go check that out get it for the kids it's also great for adults too it's only ten dollars right now i also have another book called omar talks to the moon that should be coming out shortly and yeah that's it that's all peace love and hair grease win the day because the day is already won peace out I'm winning the day, yeah. I'm winning the day. I'm winning the day. I'm winning the day. Yeah. I'm winning the day. I'm winning the day. I'm winning the day. I'm winning the day. I'm winning the day.